You can't win the women's competition in the short program, but you sure can lose it. Those women, those top competitors have to nail every jump, do all the requirements in the short program, two minutes, 40 seconds. Then they've got the long program, four minutes long. If you make more than one mistake, there is no way you're gonna win the gold medal. So perfection is necessary, keeping cool, keeping it all together, and skating clean in that short program, followed by the four minute long program. The big story of the women's competition has to be Yuna Kim from South Korea, the rainy Olympic gold medalist coming back, trying to win her second consecutive gold medal. No one has done that in women's figure skating in the Olympics since Katerina Vid in the 1980s. She is icy, she's cool, she's strong, she's got it all together, but can she handle the pressure with all these other young skaters coming after her? You know, this big battle has got to be Yuna Kim coming back, trying to win her second gold medal against the little Russian, Julia Lipnitskaya, captured everyone's attention and fancy, including Vladimir Putin's the other night in the team competition. 15 years old, she would you'd think she'd have all the pressure of the world on her, but she's skating free and beautifully. Can she beat Yuna Kim? That is the real battle, young versus old, in women's figure skating. The big question is how Gracie Gold and Ashley Wagner, the two top Americans, will fare in the women's competition. You know, they, they've had a good season, especially Gracie Gold, now the defending national champion from the U.S., but going against this packed field, they could skate beautifully and finish fifth and sixth. They could be perfect. It's just that difficult. If there's a chance, if there's some mistakes, maybe Gracie Gold, maybe Ashley Wagner could sneak into the medals. Unlikely, but we'll see how they do. So the predictions for the women's competition. Got to go with Yuna Kim of Korea, the reigning Olympic gold medalist to defend her title. Second, the 15-year-old Julia Lipnitskaya from Russia, and Mao Asada with those triple axles from Japan, silver medalist in Vancouver, I think she'll win the bronze here.